I'll say it again. God is not in the business of financing your ambition. God will finance his own vision, but not your ambition. So the fact that you think it's a good thing to do does not mean that God is going to show up for you in it. So you need to be asking God right now, how come I can't fund this thing? How come it's getting difficult? Are you in it? It is never too late to retrace your steps. And you know, for some people, you don't even need to retrace your steps. You only have to take the key of that business and hand it over to him. And say, this is it. Whatever you say, I will do. How you say I should give, I will give. I remember when I started business. The entire first fees I had, 34,000 naira, I gave it to the church building fund. And does that mean I don't have a building today? I have a building that some people are overvaluing and they're putting in front of their magazines. People say, you know that woman's building? If she sells it for one point something billion is too small. I thought, yeah, right. I like the perfume I use because I wooze as if I'm rich. And it's very good. Some people pay for it. But I gave the first fees I had, the entire thing. How do you give what you're supposed to start business with to a building fund? I did it because I was telling God, God, this business is yours. And I also understood that you cannot outgive God. God will not owe man. You understand what I'm saying? I was challenging him to show up for me, and he has shown up for me. There is something in your appointment. There are packs. If, have you ever seen a queen without a king? It, he has, she has a prince now. In fact, no matter how ugly that queen is, I'm not mentioning the queens of any country, so. You know, I'm not, because I've now become sort of like an ambassador at large. I have to be very careful. But I've seen queens in some countries who wear only black. You know them. They're dead now for some time. They look at it, and you know, without this queenship, would you have got him? But it's well, Sha. It's well. Do you get? And they have fine princes by their side because the position itself demands a prince. So you are there waiting for a husband. Take on your kingship. Take on your appointment. The prince will come. Mm, they don't believe. The prince will come. Because you see, marriage is for destiny. If you do not know your purpose, you cannot get a woman to help you get to where you don't know. I'll take it again. The Bible says, it is not good for man to be alone. I will find a help meet for him. That is, there is something that the man is doing. The woman is meant to come and help. If you do not know what you are meant to be doing, if you think that what you are meant to be doing is being a banker, or you think what you are meant to be doing is being a businessman, those are vehicles to do what you should do. They are not your purpose. A woman is attracted to power, not money. And there is nothing as powerful as a burning vision. A good girl can wait for things to get better for you. But you must know what you are about. You must be able to tell her, this is who I am. This is what we're going to be. It's not going to be like this forever. We're moving forward. The strength of your vision will attract the caliber of helper that you need. So, you see, purpose is connected to marriage. Before you should be married, you should first know your purpose. Because a woman cannot help you to do nothing. She cannot help you to do nothing. Purpose, appointment. We're there thinking about houses. Have you ever seen, where does a king live? Are you sure? Yeah. A palace, not a hut. It is scarcity mentality that makes us think that there are not enough palaces to go around. If Jesus said, I am going to heaven to prepare a mansion for you. 2,000 years ago, he left. He's still building the mansions. I'm wondering what kind of mansions he's building. It is possible to be in a neighborhood that everybody's rich now. And all the houses are big. So what makes you think that if she has a mansion, I too cannot have a mansion. You too cannot have a mansion. Why must you be a local champion? Why must it be only you? What I'm saying is that for as long as you're working in purpose, you become an ambassador of the kingdom. Now, it is no longer your problem that you should look good. It becomes God's problem that you should look good. It becomes God's problem. I said a while ago, I was 30 something, very, very early 30s. God said to me, because of the assignment I've given you, I want you to buy an E-class. I said, E-class, me, E-class, oh, no way. I was driving a Passat and I was very happy with it. Because the year that I wanted to buy a BM3 series, God said to me, I'm hiding you. I said, because the price of the Passat and the 3 series were the same. And it pained me. Because at that time, I thought I'd become a Lagos big girl, small, small, you know, and drive a 3 series and people would respect me and greet me better. But God said, buy a Passat. And then it's 3.6 million, the same price. 
He paid me. And then to make it worse, people, there was no passat then. It was the first set of passats. People would call it golf. No, Bora, Bora. I like your Bora. It's not a Bora. It's a passat. Eh, what is that? So I was already hidden and I was fine. Then he said, buy an E-class. He said, because if you're going to raise the female kingdom builder, if you're going to raise Cyrus's, if you're going to raise kings, you must look like it. And you know what? He made sure he provided his own money for the car. And I bought it. Although when the money landed in my account, I explained to him that it was in my account and not his, but we settled the quarrel quickly. And I, <laughs> I bought the car. But what I'm trying to tell you is that what you are struggling for, God is much more interested in you looking good than for you to look good. In fact, God told me. He said, I have a liability problem. I said, what does that mean? He said, the bankers will understand what I mean. A lot of banks, you know, when we take money from customers, we are creating liabilities, aren't we? As a bank, good. The asset is when we can push the money out and people can lend. God says, I have a resource problem. I have great resources. I am looking for who to display it on. But my people are not approaching me with the right protocol. They have not aligned themselves properly. It does not matter how much a bank has to lend out. If you do not meet the terms and conditions, they cannot lend you. It does not matter how much power God has. If you do not meet the terms and conditions, he cannot let go. Meanwhile, he wants. People want to see him. You are his letter to the world. You are the one through which he can show people what he's capable of. He wants to not be the God of the Bible pages only. He wants to be the God who is living and alive now. But he does not have enough people who he trusts that when he blesses them, the provision will go to God. Is someone getting me here? He said in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10 that in this age, he wants to manifest his manifest wisdom. is many faceted wisdom. The fact that God blesses you with marriage does not mean he will not bless you with wealth. The fact that he blesses you with wealth does not mean he will not bless you with children. Are you getting it? He will bless you with that. He will give you dignity. He will give you honor. He will cause you to be celebrated in the society. In fact, he's not going to let go of you until he blesses you and makes your name great. And that is what he wants. That no matter what you decide to do, no matter how ridiculous the business is, once God is in it, he will bless you and make your name great. He wants to confound principalities and powers. In fact, the weaker you are, the happier he is. Because then everybody will know it has to be God. Hallelujah. But they were going, and all of a sudden, this sheep was taken in water. And they said, carest not that we perish. And he rebuked it. And it ceased. What are you going through? I know they say times are hard. You know, um, the dollar and the pound don't know where to be. You know? But I have a feeling that God is not challenged on his throne. He's not saying to Angel Gabriel, Kai, I'm in trouble. What? I have children in Nigeria. And the pound has become 400. What do we do? You think God is having that conversation right now? So that means he knows. He can see everything. Hmm. Ivie, you are the one going to help me this time. Anybody I know in the choir is blessed. Come up. I want to demonstrate something. Huh. I want you to know that you are unstoppable. Nobody can terminate you. Have you ever seen anybody try and stop a missile and say, because I'm great, I'm Goliath, stay in front of it? <laughs> no. Okay, so this is Ivie, Sister Ivie Oposio. All right. Just stay here. What we don't understand is God said in Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. Isaiah 46 verse 10. He said, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things not yet done. Saying, my counsel, all my purpose in other translations shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. All my pleasure. What we do not realize is that when we are born, for instance, as girls, the day you are born, all your eggs are within you. So I want to know the doctor that will tell you you cannot have a baby. When I was born a mother, if, I, if they said that day that a girl is born is an aberration, they really should have said to your mother, a mother has come into the world. Therefore, it is not possible now at 35, 40, 45 for them to be telling you it's impossible for you to have a baby. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because you are born a mother, you are born with your eggs, everything intact. Do you get what I'm saying? Good. Because God calls the end from the beginning 
And from ancient times, the thing's not yet done. God looks at EVA, for instance, and decides, I will need somebody like this in the banking sector in 2016 in Nigeria. Somebody who will stand for integrity. Somebody who will not be crooked. The others may be doing it any other way. In fact, I'll make her a private banker because I want to make her a witness to the rich. So I need her to access them, you know, so she's not going to be in IT. So she would try and feel computing in the form, but somehow she would just change her mind and just feel English or something. I know all you bankers who, that's what you do, feel English or something. And then ends up in the bank. She would say, the money is safe, it's not so. God says, stay there. I have other banks that are offering me more. Stay there. 